What's up YouTube, Two Big Guns here, and today we got some more Turok, we got level 5 today. So far we've got level 1, 2, 3, or 4, we got some pretty powerful weapons. We have our assault rifle, we got the grenade launcher, the minigun, the pulse rifle, the auto shotgun. So we've gotten a lot of stuff so far, so now it's time to jump into level 5 and grab some more. First thing you want to do is, before you go in there, is turn around, jump down here. And hop in this cave, you're going to find a backpack, some techers, and some explosive shells. I already have a backpack, so I can't get that. So we're going to climb back up here now. Uh, that, believe it or not, that's actually not a secret area. That's just a normal little spot that you can explore. But that's not actually a secret area. Most of the secret areas in this level are like secret walls that you can walk through. Uh, but yeah, that's that down there is not a secret area, believe it or not. A little trick right here, you can actually jump on the here you can slide all the way down there instead of walking all the way down the stairs. Oh, why didn't that work? Uh, well, yeah, that you, um, there's usually a little trick where you can slide all the way down the ceiling. Um, alright, well, we got a shotgun here. So there's, um, there's, there's you know, a lot of this, these guys, there's no uh super powerful enemies in this level there's a boss at the end of this level though um yeah there's a boss at the end of level three uh at the end of this level and then there's two bosses at the end of the last level so um yeah that uh down there is the main entrance to the catacombs but we're not gonna go there just yet we're gonna turn down this corridor we want to kill these guys because eventually we are going to be going uh, um walking above um, on top of those uh, boardwalks up there, so we're gonna come here to sweep through here, eliminate all these guys, because um, as you can see, there's um, those blades swinging up there, and while you're walking up there, you have to watch out for those blades. And it's, um, it's pretty nice if you kill these guys, so you don't have to worry about people shooting at you from down below while you're trying to focus on um, avoiding those swinging blades. So just quick sweep, come in through, eliminate all these guys. Uh, don't worry about the beetles. I mean, you can kill them if you want, but the beetles aren't really that much of a threat since they can't really shoot at you or anything. They can just crawl and attack you, or just kill them anyway. I just see some tech armor up there. So yeah, just make sure you re uh, clear this room. Shut up, Marty Fall out. Uh, Alright. Pretty much everything running right here. Oh, um, I can't remember what's down this way. Um, there's another backpack if you need it. A little bit of ammo here. All right. This cave um here actually also leads to the same um entrance. Uh, some health down here. I actually could use some health right now. tough enemies so far just a few leapers and some of the ancient warriors got a 25 health I really need that what's the way out of here alright so we crawl through this little um, opening here it's gonna take us to um, the uh, it's gonna take us to another um, in, um side way to the entrance and we got a minigun there. That's great because I actually have ran out of actually ran out of minigun ammo. And so we're pretty good on health right now. Set a few guys here. Oh um. That's actually a, um, this is actually a pathway to the uh, main entrance. 
We're not gonna go there just yet, though. I believe it's this way. Um, it's actually gonna lead us to right. This little cave is right here. It's gonna lead us to the Chrono Scepter piece. Let's grenade that uh, priest. Right, this little cave is gonna. Um, it's pretty confusing, but it's gonna take us to the um, fifth Chrono Scepter piece. And you're probably gonna get lost at first. But, um, as you can see, these are two grates. They're not going to lead anywhere. So, obviously, this is the way to go. Okay. And there's, fortunately, there's no enemies, like, going to crawl in here and attack you. So, you're pretty much safe for now. Uh, there is a lot of ammo in here, down here, which is pretty, um, great if you are running low. Um, there's nothing over there some more explosives you get a lot of shells down here that's a good thing and there's gonna be a priest guarding the chronos upper piece um, grab these shells right here if you need them uh, you're gonna turn left right here and, oh actually no that's um it's a health piece um, okay yeah, right, once you see these little um these triangles these life forces you know you're on the right track so you're gonna you turn right and this you see the little pond that's gonna this is where the chronos after piece is and there's a priest right here all right and once he dies uh, um it'll unlock the chronos after piece for you all right we got our fifth one now uh, there's nothing else special in here so we're gonna crawl back through our cave. So spot. Right. I'm not sure what this. Yeah, this is a grate right here. So yeah, there's nothing here. So all we gotta do is go back the way we came. All right. Um, if you had a little trouble with that priest, there's a. A 25 health right there. Grab these shells. I did use a few on them. All right. I believe it's to the yeah left. All right. That wasn't too hard. All right. Yeah, this level isn't really difficult when it comes to like enemies. Um, the only I probably say the only difficult uh, part about this level is that it's really confusing. It's I probably say this might be the longest level. It's um, a lot of caves and um, uh, passageways, corridors. It's 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 quite easy to get lost in this level. That's like the main thing I hate about this level. A lot of the ancient wars in here. I'm gonna grab a 25 right there. Uh, watch out around the corners. A few flamethrower um, things blowing. Uh, right here. Watch out for these flamethrower blowers. Might, they blend these guys blend them with a the background a little bit so you might find a couple of them difficult to see Just try not to get fooled by them all right uh, we're gonna climb up this wall and we're gonna turn around and we're gonna jump on this platform okay and this is like the main puzzle of the level so we have to go through and unlock all these doors like this one right here step on the switches opens all three of these doors this is probably the most confusing part of the um, part of the level there's so many doors you have to open and it's really tough there are a few uh, secrets in here I believe though okay, uh, 
Oh, we already went that way. We're gonna turn here and we're gonna. Alright. I believe. I thought there was a secret area. Nope. So I hit all of these switches, and I'm just gonna open a little passage down through here. I'm gonna run through here, grab all this ammo and life forces. Got an ultra health right here, that's really nice. A box of grenades. A explosive shotguns. Okay, we're gonna hop through this portal. Let's take us right back to the front. And we're gonna hop down here. Okay. Okay, also take us back to the same spot. Come up right here. So if you see the skull here, you walk right through the wall, that's a secret area. Okay. Down in this little tomb. Okay, what's down here? Alright, we're gonna find a lot of health, uh, ammo. Uh, well, I got some minigun um, ammo, really needed that. Got some cell, got some ammo from my pulse rifle, got a lot of beetles here, this is knife them all. Uh, apparently I'm, it's like I'm full out on tech arrows right now. Really need this minigun ammo though. Okay, so that's a, de that's a secret area leading all the way to the basement, definitely check that out if you need some supplies. Here's some hopping, so some leapers up ahead. Alright. A beetle right there. So, um, if it's possible, try not to waste ammo on these things, because blasting a few grenades at them, that's, that's just a waste of ammo. Watch out for cracked walls, because a Perlin's about to bust through it. We go through here, you're gonna get a invincibility. And we turn down this way, and this is gonna to lead to a new weapon. It's the shockwave weapon, I believe it's called. Uh, I believe you turn down which way? Oh, I didn't even know this was. Uh, grab a uh, energy cell there. This is not it though. You turn, I believe it's this. Hmm. Which way is it? Alright. I'm Minigun right here. I looks like I can't open it from this side. I have to turn it around. Secrets in here. I right, so we're gonna turn around. Uh oh. Uh, no, that shockwave weapon should be around here somewhere. Thing. I think we just came from this way. Mm -hmm. 
There's gonna be some more leapers up in. Oh. Yeah, okay, yeah, it's right here. Alright, so we're gonna jump over here. It's deep underwater. Hit the switch to open up the underwater door. Jump in right here. We'll just try to deal with them for now. Alright, so we turn here. Right here, we have the shockwave weapon. It's a pretty interesting weapon. Um, this weapon is actually also feature, uh, featured in the second um, Turok. Uh, but it's the it's like the um, last weapon you get. It's like that one you get the symbols. It's very similar to the Chrono Uh What it does is like uh, let's actually use it right now. What it does is like it freezes your enemy and then um, see it freezes them and then they explode. It's pretty good against like a group of small enemies. It's probably I probably wouldn't recommend using this against bigger enemies because you're gonna waste a lot of cells. But against your like uh, like those leapers and like soldiers and uh, that's probably the best um, enemies to use this weapon on. Uh, each like each uh, shot takes uh, two uh, cell energy units. But if you have, if you charge it to the full, it'll use uh, up to ten. It tens the max it uses. And that's for a full blast. So we just came from this way up. Okay. Another thing right there. All right, we're doing great so far. I try not to let that Perlin fall on you when he dies, because they can see there pretty does does a good amount of damage. So we just have to open this door to get on that other side. We actually probably could make it from right here. Don't want to fall in this black ooze because it does damage. So we can, yeah, we don't even need to open that door. We can make it right there. Let's go there any other way though. Mm, there's this little secret down here. Got a grenade launcher and a box of grenades right there. Oh, right. here's uh, the little saw blade room. Um, you can just try to rush through this. You're probably gonna take some damage, but um, if you're low on health, I probably wouldn't want to rush for that. Let's just use this for a little bit. Alright. Whoa, damn. I'm supposed to show some ammo here. Alright. Okay. Uh, I believe we got a secret area right here. You walk straight through this wall right here. There's uh, invincibility right there. Uh, where are you coming from? Uh, 25 right there. I can't get it. Though. Another purlin through this wall. Grab those. Uh, let's go through this portal. It's not the special. Just a flame trap one. Let's try to run right through. It looks like you can't jump over it. Alright. Uh, it looks like I already have a max amount of lives and tokens, so I can't grab any more of these little triangles. And we do get an ultra health at in, so that's really nice. Full out on health now. Alright, 
see what's going on down here. Got some just down. All right. Um, this looks like nothing, but if you jump over this little pool, you'll notice a sicker area. And right down here, we got another ultra health. Got some grenades. All right. So we're gonna jump back through now. All right. I think we're all set in this um area for now. Alright. So we've pretty much grabbed everything um, that we need. We've already gotten the Chrono Scepter piece. Oh, I don't think there's anything. I think I've already been this way, I believe. Yeah, we've already been this way. There's nothing over here. So it's time to move on. So we're gonna go over here. We're gonna hop up these little. Uh, ledges. So, why, like, probably look down when you're doing this because you're pretty slim little stepping stones. Oh, we have a next area right here. few guys in here if I'm not mistaken. Yep. Go ahead and use a grenade and watch it. Oh. Uh, let's use this. Let's come down next area right here. Now, before you go through this portal, turn to the right. You guessed it. You notice how those um, beetles came through the wall? You guessed it. Another secret area right here. All you get is a full health though, so I can't grab that. But that is another secret area. Get rid of those annoying. Uh, just, just rocks in a cave. Nothing special there. So we we'll just take those. Alright, uh, we're going to find our key up here. Not just yet. Come over here, there's some minigun ammo. Switch back to the minigun. Alright. Come over here in this corner, there's gonna be some tech armor. Now, there's an ultra health down there, but um, be careful, watch your step because you could fall. Where'd he go? Yeah, um, watch your step, and then you can um, use those little um, stones to climb back up. I'm gonna pop it. I'm gonna grab this uh, energy cell. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're going to climb up this wall here. It's gonna take us to our key up here. It's a uh, level six key, I believe. Yeah, level six. We're gonna jump off. We're gonna land on this little platform. That's gonna drain all the water into the main area. crawl down here. There's gonna be a priest up ahead. We have to kill him. So we're not done yet. Um that we're going down there but not yet. 
An assault rifle if you need it. And you notice after you kill him, this door will open. That's the next area we have to go to. Alright, so don't turn or anything, just go straight ahead. Let's kill all the guys in the way. Alright, this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, I've seen no guys down there now. We can just, um, actually, hold on. Let's see if I can make it over to that tech room. Oh, thought I could make that jump. Right, let's try again. Well, I didn't make it on there, but I did get the tech armor. See, so, yeah, um, now yeah, see this room is clear now, so there's not gonna be no guys shooting at you. So all you gotta do is focus on not getting hit by these blades. That's what actually did to see me. That one looks like he would respond. He doesn't have a well, blowgun though, so you don't need to worry about him. So I just got hit again. You want to watch out for these things. You do a lot of damage. So full health over there if you need it. Give it to him. Hit too many times. Got a quiver tech arrows. We're gonna find our next key up ahead. Okay. There's our next key right here. We have to kill this priest in order to open it though. Alright, now that he's dead, this is gonna open up for us. Got our next level A key. Now the last key is actually um the boss, so you have to defeat the boss to get the last key of the level. So we're pretty much done now. I'm um, just gonna go to another area and we're out of here. Another saw area. No, all right. Um, you turn to the left. There's gonna be a secret area right here. Grab this pulse rifle. Use the pulse rifle. Alright. Could open this right up. And that takes us right back to the main entrance. Um, there's one more thing I do want to show you guys though. I actually didn't do this earlier. But it's not it. Uh, we're actually going to go back to the main entrance. Turn down here. And there's actually one more secret area right through this wall right here. It's gonna get you a grenade launcher and some uh, life forces. So I believe that is actually the last uh, secret area of the, this level. But all right, we have done everything, so now it is time to swim down there and defeat the boss and get our last key, which is another level eight key. All right, so we're gonna swim down here. See, um, normally before that water flooded in, we would have fell down here and landed on these spikes. But now the water's in, we're all good. So we swim through this cave, and this is going to be the portal to the end of level 5. All right, we're about to fight a boss, so they gave us some good ammo here to stock up on. It's a save point if you need to. I'm going to jump right in. And there's our 8 key, and then the giant mantid boss. Now this is a really tough boss because the more damage you do to him, the faster he moves. Okay, so they do give you a lot of minigun ammo in this um in this fight. Uh you guys I don't see any yet, but but yeah, this is a really tough boss. The faster he um the more damage you do to him, the faster he starts moving. He's about to get angry a second and knock down the walls. He's about to start hitting the walls now. The strong little man. Susan grenade launcher. 
We've already done a good amount of damage to him. Uh, let's use, let's use pulse weapon. Shit, every time he, his body glows a different color, that means he's getting angry. Got him down. Where'd he go? Uh, let's do some tech arrows. So I think it's good that the um. Oh, I ran out of tiger. Yeah, but this level stocks you up on a lot of ultra health, and it's probably good for this fight because he's he's gonna. I'm not gonna lie, he's a pretty tough, tough boss. He's probably gonna get a few hits on him. It's okay though, we got some more minigun ammo. I'm just trying to finish this big boy off. That is the end to the Manted Boss. We have unlocked our 8th key. Or our 8th level, level 8 key, my bad. We defeat, look how badass Targa is. We defeated him fair and square. Targa has earned his level 8 key. Um, that's going to be the end of level 5. Next time we're hitting level 6, which is right here. We have another level 8 key. Just need 2 more. We're going to be hitting down there. All right, we beat level five. So next time we're hitting level six. But for now, you guys have a great night. And peace out. Testing, testing, testing.
Thank you. 